In the following week, this Army team's character was challenged as perhaps no other since this autumn madness started 103 years ago. On Friday morning, September 29th, the Army embarked for Texas A&M. The weather in Texas was sunny and warm, and the natives were confident that the Army was right for the taking. The team stayed at a private resort, tucked away in the Texas Hill Country. It was a time to relax and get mentally prepared. Perhaps the most pressure was on Kingsley Fink. It was going to be up to him to show the way in Aggieland. After losing to Nebraska 77-7, to everyone was concerned about the rest of the season. We wondered if we could come back or if we were headed for another disaster season like in 1970. I felt we could come back. Our team had gone through a lot together, and we knew that the A&M game was the key to our season. As Coach Kale had put it, our pride had been hurt. Well, after that long week of practice, I knew I was ready, and the Army team showed it was ready right from the opening kickoff. We knew then what we had felt before. The Army team had pride, and we were winners. But the Army's lead was short-lived. On the third play of the second period, Lex James works the option to perfection as he pitches to freshman Ernie Bean for a score. It was now 7-7. Seven to seven. The breaks continue to go against the Army. Bruce Simpson loses the handle on the ball, and the Aggies recover at the Army 39 and set up another march on the Army goal. Again, it's Bean, and within three minutes, A&M is on top, 14 to seven. But the cadets are far from finished on this crisp Texas night. Fink finds he can run as well as pass, and his ground maneuvering paves the way to the tying touchdown. Pete Ramsberger covers the last few yards. At the half, the game is all knotted up at 14-14. In the second half, the defense takes complete charge. Time and again, they shoot across the line of scrimmage to dump Aggie ball carriers right in their tracks. They stifle pass attempts and cut off the option. The continual, unrelenting pressure from the defense causes Aggie errors. From Matt Wotel, number 20, it's his finest hour in an Army uniform. Midway in the third period, Pete Ramsberger of St. Petersburg, Florida, puts the Army ahead for good at 21-14. And again, protecting the lead, the irrepressible Matt Wotel makes his second interception of the night. Jim Barclay's 44-yard field goal is the final touch in a 24-14 win. The Army pride was back. <laughs> 